Good afternoon. Coming close to the end of day three at the world famous mining show in Toronto, Ontario. We have the pleasure of being with Alf Stewart, who's with Searchlight Resources. Alf, thank you for coming by. You're welcome, Peter. Now, you and I only met for the first time today, but we seem to have a lot of friends in common, one of them being Steve Wallace, the CEO at Searchlight. Yes. So what are you doing with Searchlight? I'm helping them raise money. Hey, yeah, it makes you everybody's best friend. That's right. Um, Searchlight has a variety of really interesting properties in the interest of disclosure. I advise to Searchlight from time to time because I like the CFO and I like the CEO. Um, the property I like best is what's called the Dudridge property, but you have a different opinion. Yes. Which is your favorite? My favorite is the English Bay property just outside of La Ronge. Ontario or Quebec? La Ronge, Saskatchewan. There you go. Um, why do you like that one? Because it's a very, very unique situation. It's uh, privately developed, it's never been in the public market, and it looks like a very strong gold system. Prior drilling? There's 37 drill holes on the property, 5,000 meters of drilling. Of those 37 drill holes, 20 have intersected gold along a consistent 400 meter long zone. And with that conversation, we did an asterisk because none of that was 43101 or QP'd, right? That's correct. We've had a conversation about this. Our first action on this property will be to have a competent person review all of those results and verify them. Good. Uh, Searchlight trades on the Venture Exchange? SCLT on the TSX S Venture. SCLT. I like Dedridge because it was a uh, originally 43101 for uranium with a significant deposit, but Stephen went back and looked at the old data. There's also vanadium and cobalt there. And to me, that's a sexy property, and that's also in North Saskatchewan. A little, right. bit, little bit further north. Yes. What else is in the portfolio? There's another gold property near Flin Flon. So Flin Flon's interesting because it's right on the border between Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Right. We're on the Saskatchewan side, and there's a property that we have an option. We've earned a 51% interest in it, and it has three former producers on it, three former gold producers. Wow. And it's within driving distance of Flin Flon, which is a major mining center in Canada. And uh, if I remember correctly, there's also a former mine on another one of the properties that can be reactivated. Right. So the, the main uh, mine on the property was developed in the 1980s. They did 1.5 kilometers of underground development and never produced gold. Why not? They went bankrupt. They borrowed money from a, a bank, yep. and that's not how you finance gold exploration. What year was that? 1983. Okay, so interest rates in the early 80s were running around 18%. Exactly, and the gold price was $350. A tough way to make a living. Yes. Today, right. looking at gold prices, if we take the $350 historical gold price in U.S. dollars, convert it to Canadian dollars today, yep. that's about $900 in current gold prices. But the gold price today is $2,100 Canadian, over twice the historical price when this property was developed. Well, one of the advantages that Australian and Canadian properties have is their expenses are in local currency where the revenue's in USD. So it does create an extra layer of comfort there for investors. Yes. So what's next? You're going to raise money. Has that been announced in the public yet? The uh, company has been attempting to raise money flow through at five cents for a few months. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. That's an excellent way to end this. Alf, it was wonderful to meet you. Hope to see you again. Searchlight Resources on the Venture Exchange, day three at PDAC. I'm Peter Clausey. Thank you.